Hello, Replay people. It's Matt from RealCreamBlog.com. Thanks for hanging out with us here on The Replay. Of course, more Royal Caribbean fun is waiting for you at RealCaribbeanBlog.com. RealCaribbeanBlog.com. And welcome. Happy Monday, everybody. My name is Matt. Ethan is our first chatter in. Hello, Ethan. Welcome. Glad to have you here. Jovi, hello. Dave for cruising. Welcome. Waz34, hello. Burke, it's been too long. Of course, if it's been more than a day, it's been too long. Rich Rather, Christy, John Bamber is here. Rans Rider, Jill is joining us. Hello, hello, hello. DJ, welcome. Krista, Jay, sure enough. Uh, Slim Jim, M. White, S. Sullivan. Slim Jim is here as well. Wilson, hello, hello, Huntley. Bombshell, welcome. Johnny, you have some big news. Don't hold back, dude. Let us share, share the good news. Anna, your first viewing, welcome. My name is Matt. I am from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com. We are hanging out here talking Royal Caribbean together. And of course, before we do anything else, we got to start counting down how many days till your next cruise. Type it in chat right now. Let's count down together. Love when we can count down together and talk a little Royal Caribbean, right? But welcome, welcome everybody joining in. Hello, Big Dog Ron. Lou Aloha. Christy, 68 days. Rand's right at 130. Brandon is actually here. Welcome, Anna, at 135 days until her next cruise. Huntley at 270 days. Nice. Zal at 700 plus days. Zal, you'll be there eventually. It'll come around. Creative Caker, eight, uh, five days. Hello, Mark and Trinidad. John, 45 to Anthem and Yolo Book Navigator of the Seas. Nice. Thank you for supporting our sponsor, John. M1 at 17 days. Michael Pool 12 days will be live blogging at Oasis of the Seas Live. Short of 122, 348, 550. That's a lot of countdowns right there. JD at 84 days. Nick Vitani at 3 days. Hack at 483. Hello, Web 10. Welcome. Wilson going on Harmony 5 days this week. Uh, Brian, hello. 157 days. Jay, the only good thing about being off a cruise for 2 days is getting close to our next cruise. Heck yeah. Big Dog Ron at seven days until Empress of the Seas back to back. Krista going on Oasis in 97 days. I like it. Uh, Lou, man, I'm sure you don't miss New York City, but when it's still in the 50s in May. You know what, Lou? I do miss New York City, especially in this kind of weather, dude. Who wants to sweat? I like cold weather. Nice jacket. First of all, if you're wearing a jacket, you can accessorize a whole lot better, which is really important, I know. And also, you're a little more comfortable, you know? I'm just saying. Hello, Amy, Kristen, 90 days if things work out. DJ, 59 days till Anthem, Razor Ray, 265, Web on Freedom, yes. Uh, Anna, as long as there's sun, heck yeah. As long as, I love New York City, by the way, so I will take it no matter the weather. Yeah, see, that's why I don't, see, Nick, it's 97, I don't want to be in Florida this time of year. I wish I could go up to Connecticut until, like, you know, October and come on back down here. Alas. Haley, 289 days until Oasis of the Seas. We're all, kind of, we're all getting closer, but for some of us, more so than others. And welcome, everybody. Haley, thank you for sharing. My name is Matt. I am from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com. We are hanging out, talking Royal Caribbean together. Uh, Chris, I'm tired of accessorizing my jacket. I'm ready to accessorize your shorts. Probably a little different experience overall, but yes. Uh, we've had very nice weather all winter long down here, and now it's starting to heat up. I feel like there are, our cooler days are behind us the problem with heat i've told this guys all the time when you when it gets hot there's only so much you can do and then you're out of luck with not with it being too hot outside when it's cold you just put on another jacket you put on those little those little things in your gloves that when you shake them up it warms up your hands you know what i'm talking about i'm sure there's a word for it it's it's fun you get to huddle by the fireplace and it's fire is beautiful air conditioning not so much beautiful fire is lovely i'm just saying uh, John got a rear-facing aft cap at 78. MEI travel is incredible. Got $100 on board credit for only 70 Nice! You don't have to shovel the heat. Now, that's true, but like I said, snow falling, that's beautiful. Palm trees are beautiful too, but like I said, I would rather have it colder. Slim Jim called the roller and told me no shorts for Walmart, and I thought that was changed to shorts. No, they reversed it back, Slim Jim. They changed it, and then like literally like 10 days later... They took it off the list. Here's the thing, Slim Jim. Just so you know, before we get into this huge debate between shorts and the main dining room, before anything else is said, let me just put this out there, Slim Jim. Whatever the rules are, nobody enforces the rule. Just remember that. Okay? 
So just keep that in mind. Um, yeah, welcome everybody. We're uh, hanging out here talking Royal Caribbean together. Love doing that. Um, Michael wore shorts in chops. Oh man, your brother must have been so thrilled with that. Hack, played golf today, saw a guy hit a hole in one and won $10,000. Nice. It wasn't me, although I could use $10,000 now that I think about it. Um, Jay Anthem was great. I'm so glad to hear that. Looks like you had an awesome time on board. Hello, DLT. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, we're hanging out here talking Royal Caribbean together. And, of course, it's Monday, which means back to work, but... We do have some Royal Caribbean stuff on there, including on the website today, on the blog, as it were. Ten commonly asked first-time Royal Caribbean cruise questions. We get so many questions on RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com about taking a Royal Caribbean cruise, usually from first-timers. And so we answer the ten questions I get every single day, all the time. I'm answering these kind of questions. We post them at RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com. Yes, Jose, the WoW deal is extended through Tuesday. That's correct. They extended it last week. Not a big surprise. Usually the... Almost every promotion is extended, it seems. Um, John, I have not seen it yet. No, I apologize. Brandon, 131 days. By the way, speaking of Brandon, I do have to remind everybody that we actually have scheduled our next Royal Caribbean Blog Orlando meetup. It's going to be on Saturday, June 3rd. Let me get the information here from our Facebook page. Um, it's at a new place, too. Michael Poole and I have been there before. It's kind of nice. And I hope that many of, you, many of you will be able to join us for it. It's at 11 a.m. at Hurricane Grill and Wings, uh, June 3rd. June 3rd. On, uh, it's, right off, it's right outside uh, da uh, Disney Springs. Very close to Walt Disney World. Very easy to get to. Convenient parking. Uh, there's no parking structures and crazy exits. This is really easy to get to. Um, so... Uh, I hope many of you can join us for it. This will be June 3rd, 11 a.m. at Hurricane Grill and Wings at 13520 Apopka Vineland Road. Um, so, if you can be in the Orlando area on June 3rd, I hope you'll be joining us for it. Uh, Huntley, what's supposed to restaurants are on Match Day? I believe it's only Chops, right? No, Ron, no Phoenix meetups, unfortunately. But I know that Billy will be there. Michael Poole said he'll be there, which may mean he may not actually be there. And some other friends as well. I think uh, Cruising Cat said she was going to be there. So uh, already a lot of folks RSVPing, which I love. Love, 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 love. Uh, Jay took advantage of, of, on, of onboard booking. Two more cruises added. Nice. Brandon will maybe be there. I'm counting on you being there, Brandon. You're like the the tour de force of local meetups. Big Burley John had a friend of Royal Caribbean Cruise with us. Turned away at the main dining room for wearing shorts. That's really interesting. Because I've seen plenty of shorts in the main dining room. I have seen people get turned away in the, from the main dining room for wearing things like tank tops. That I have seen. Sorry. Uh, but I haven't seen shorts. Uh, uh, I've seen plenty of people wearing shorts. Let's put it that way. Slim Jim, what, what do you do at the meetup? Just talk and say hello. Basically, yeah, we just hang out. We talk about Royal Caribbean. We talk about Michael Poole. We talk about life. But yeah, it's just basically an informal get-together. Where we kind of hang out and just, you know, shoot the breeze, talk Royal Caribbean. It's a lot of fun. Highly recommend you come check it out if you can. Because it's, it's a great way to meet people, put faces to their names, and, uh, you know, just have a good time. We look at Matt's shoes. Now, Slim Jim is going to be there. Nice. Talk group cruises. Absolutely. Um, oh, really, John? You remember? It was a formal night. Interesting. Annie signed up for yours. Nice. Love it. Uh, John, it's just uh, piano hits of April 2017. One hour of pop piano music. So maybe you'll know the words to it. Maybe you won't. But it should be pretty. Uh, hearing piano music reminds me of the main dining room. Sorry. Uh, the phone went off there. Um... Jose, has anyone been to more than one Royal Caribbean blog meetup? Yeah, the people in Orlando. Brandon's been to a number of them. Michael's been to a number of them. Huntley has as well. Um, feel free to sing along. Actually, you know what's funny is I can't actually hear the music. Because if I heard the music, I'd have to be wearing some kind of headphones. And I'm t it's, I look way too dorky to wear these. <laughs> so I'm just assuming the music is playing and you're all enjoying it. Webb, any new routes over South America? Uh, no, unfortunately not. Royal Caribbean is kind of... Kind of 
not pulled out of, of South America, but they're kind of not doing South American cruises for a while now because of the South American economy, specifically the Brazilian economy tanking. Uh, do you look for things to add to your day to remind you of the main dining room? Any opportunity, Jill, to make me remind me of something about a cruise? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. In fact, today, I reordered the green tea pack, because I don't wish I had an example of one, but uh, the green tea that they serve in Izumi, I figured out the brand, I ordered it on Amazon, and I was running out, so I ordered some new ones. So anytime I get a Royal Caribbean fix in my life, I like it. Sometimes I have to settle for talking to Michael Poole, but hey, beggars can't be choosers, right? Um, and by the way, the uh, my favorite thing ever was, let me see if I can find uh, on Facebook today. Actually, it was yesterday. Michael Poole posting the photo of him taking a photo. And Michael already knows where I'm going with this, but I, I thought it was h hilarious. Here it is. So Michael took a photo of himself taking a photo of a cruise ship, which is pretty standard, right? And his girlfriend then wrote, I took this, which of course Michael wrote, now you sound like me. And then she wrote my favorite thing. Hey guys, we're going live. Blah, 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 blah of the sea. Some more Stella. <laughs> which is totally accurate and mean, but it's okay. It's all in good fun. But I, I literally LOL'd when I, when I read that because that is totally what I or Michael would do is like, you know, that's, we have a shtick, right? <laughs> I just like she worked in Sabor, Stella. <laughs> uh, anyway, to say that we are passionate and slightly repetitive would be an understatement. But guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, we're hanging out here on this Monday, talking Royal Caribbean with all of you. No news today. Uh, actually, I mean, there was very little. There was a Royal Caribbean added, for what it's worth, I will mention, that Royal Caribbean added 10 new sailings. From Singapore on Mariner of the Seas. These are sailings right before Mariner heads off to to Miami to begin her tr her trans world voyage, global voyage, whatever they're calling it. Um, and if you want to get a couple more rides in on Mariner before she leaves uh, the Asian region, well, this is your opportunity here. So check that out. And of course, we have the details about that at royalcaribbeanblog.com. Hello, J Bell. Welcome. Michael, where are all these rumors coming from Oasis 5 names? I don't think I've seen, Michael. I haven't seen any names um, registered. A lot of the names, nearly every name I've ever seen has been they're a, a product of the registrations from earlier, but I'm um, double-checking right now. Nope. Royal Caribbean has not, real, has not, um, has not, what's the word? Has not trademarked any new names recently. I mean, a lot of the names get trademarked, but a lot of times they get abandoned. So uh, they may not get updated, but that's usually the source of it. I mean, the trademark office is pretty much the go-to place for it. Uh, in terms of, you know, that's our number one thing, unless you've got some inside connection that you're not aware of. Uh, what are the names they have now? Well, the only names that are active right now that they are unused are Sunrise of the Seas and Valhalla of the Seas. They've registered uh, Symphony of the Seas. So, let me make this larger. Uh, Sunrise of the Seas, Valhalla of the Seas, Icon of the Seas, Empress they're kind of using... Um, and these other ones, like here, you see Apex of the Seas, Emblem of the Seas, and Joy of the Seas. They did register them at one point, but now they're dead, which means they uh, didn't renew the registration. So if you wanted to register them, you could. Passion is an old one. It's another old one that's that's dead. Here's Passion right there. See? Dead. Pulse. Dead. Spectrum. Dead. Which just means they registered it at one point, but they didn't renew it. Uh, do you know if you own a Royal Caribbean stock, you get a discount on cruising? Yes, uh, Slim Jim, I do. I, I will tell you two things. Number one, you probably shouldn't buy stock purely for a discount. You should buy stock because you think it's a good investment. But more importantly, and arguably more importantly, the uh, the stock discount is largely incompatible with pretty much any other promotion out there. So most people that have the stock discount usually report it's they don't never take advantage of it. Is Hotchburger the C still registered? Not yet. Not yet. But, um... Yeah, so I would tell you, if you want to buy stock, buy stock because you think it's a good investment financially. Don't buy it for the discount. It's not worth it. And you got to, um, I think you have to have 100 shares. That's right, Hunley. You have to own at least 100. So it's not like you're buying one share or something like that. j what's the trick to checking into your flight at home if you don't have Voom? 
So if you don't have internet access, how do you check in your flights? It's a great question. If you have like Southwest, right? Because every other airline, there's really no point. But if you wanted to, a couple things. You can go down to guest services. If you're seeing the suite, go to the concierge lounge. They'll do it for you. You can go down to the uh, guest services and ask them. They may be able to work with you on that one. Maybe give you a little, little help. Of course, you can also buy a internet package for like an hour or a day. It'll be significantly cheaper than if you uh, bought the package for the duration of the cruise, right? JetBlue for the ride home, you don't need to check in. Why do you need to check in? J Bell for JetBlue because they your seat you can pick beforehand, um, and you can print out boarding passes at the airport, right? Nice dinner music, thank you. John booked a nine night Navigator Southern Caribbean on my recommendation. Well, then I am glad to hear that. I love that. It was a great, great cruise. Uh, J Bell, what by the way, what level of Crown and Anchor status are you? Crown and Anchor Society status. What level are you at? Because if you're at uh, Diamond or above, you get like a free day of internet. It's not fast, but it'll do exactly what you need it to do. Uh, Big Dark says for Flying Southwest, purchase the $15 early bird check-in. There you go. That's still cheaper than probably any internet package you get on board. Michael, you never flew on JetBlue? I love JetBlue. You know why? High-speed internet on board, TV, and did I mention they're both free? Mom has always been Pretty awesome. Hello, Andrew. Welcome. Oh, it's your first cruise ever. Oh, it's an ad. Sorry. Moving on. Boston Nick, welcome. I heard the commercial. It was so loud it came through on my speakers on my desk over here. Yeah, uh, sorry about the ad, by the way. Uh, speaking of levels, can I move up a level while on board? I have two days left. No, you can't, Amy. Um, so if you, like, halfway through your cruise, you move up between Emerald to Platinum or Diamond, whatever's after Emerald, um, you... No, you'll have to wait for your next sailing for that to take place. If you're doing a back-to-back -back cruise, yes, you can have that take advantage of you to tell your loyalty ambassador on board. Say, hey, this current cruise, we're at this level, but next sailing, which I'm on, uh, I'll be moving up to this next level. Can you help me out there? And usually they can move the wheels of progress a little bit. So. Um, by the way, Chris Den, I know we were talking on Facebook. I'm just saying if you book that Harmony July 1st, same sailing. Just saying. Sorry, we're on the and the Royal Cream Blog Insider Facebook group. Uh, we were trying to encourage Kristen and some others to book a cruise because that's what we do. We're we're enablers, right? Um. How are plans for the February second, twenty nineteen, at New Orleans? Uneventful, Mark. Uneventful, likely not happening. Matt is a bad influence. I try, Brandon. I really do try to be a bad influence on all of you. Hope you spend your money effectively. J Bell, happy for the happy to help. Michael, they are so cheap, especially. I mean, of course, you're booking is you're booking really early in advance, right? That makes it a big difference. And New Orleans was never really going to be commanding that high of a cruise fare. Which, by the way, if you are one of these people who's like, why does Royal Caribbean offer cruise at New Orleans? Well, I hope you're booking up a bunch of these because you bet your bottom dollar that this is very much a test. You know, because if they don't sell well. She's out of there. Vision's going to go somewhere else after this season. Is it bad I woke up this morning saying YOLO book it? Nope. Not at all. Jill, you're an excellent bad influence. Thank you. I try. I really do try. Um, Michael, you just don't like the ports? Okay, Nassau, Key West. Well, a couple things. Don't forget, by t the time that she sails out of New Orleans... First of all, you love Coco Cay. Second of all, Coco Cay will be, like, get all its upgrades by that point, right? Or most of them. And Key West, you love bike rides in Key West, Michael. So those are like perfect for you. And there's also two different, there's two variations. There's one that goes that way, and there's one that goes Western Caribbean, if I'm not mistaken. So you do get a little bit of variety there. But again, it's about cruising out of New Orleans, which I think you've done that before, right? You've taken cruises down the Mississippi. It's a cool idea. I should do, yeah, Coast, well, the Costa Maya Cozumel was originally wasn't look, was leaning towards it. And I said, no, wait a minute. We'll have new Coco Cay options on there. Key West, I've never actually been to Key West on a cruise ship. And then Nassau, well, who doesn't enjoy a day at the British Colonial Hilton? Which, by the way, I am... Guys, I need some ideas. I need your help today. For my Harmony of the Seas cruise, we're in Nassau from 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. What the heck should I do there? I need some ideas. I need to turn the fan on because it's like... I'm fetching in here. Holy moly. Oh, much better. Okay. What should I do? Nassau, 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. A day pass 
is not a good idea because we're there from 7 a.m. to 2. Not exactly a great amount of time or great hours to be hanging out there. Blue Lagoon Beach. What is Blue Lagoon Beach? Walk to Junkano. I thought about Junkano, actually. Michael, you wrote a blog post about this. Come on, man. I need your help. Wait, where's the Blue Lagoon? Hang on. Blue Lagoon in Nassau? I should go to a garden. What kind of garden? Jessica. What is the Blue, La Blue Lagoon Island Beach? This one? I don't want to swim with dolphins. No, never mind. <laughs> uh, Rainbow Reef Snorkel Shore Excursion? I don't like snorkeling. I don't like fish. I don't want to go touch fish. I don't mind going in the ocean. I do mind touching being near fish. Um, I don't know, Big Darren. Ron, Big Darren says, what do you want to do? It's a great question. I don't know what I want to do. But originally, I was like, oh, well, let's just go back to the British Colonial Hilton. But we're there from 7 to 2. It's like weird hours, and it's too short. No aviaries either, Brandon. <laughs> um... Amy, you can do it without doing fish. It's four hours on the beach. Um, Amy, this Brit the Blue Lagoon, is this is this through Royal Caribbean or is this just a... Uh... Oh, beach day. I see it here. Hang on a second. All right. Uh, swim the calm lagoon, relax on the beach, enjoy water sports, grill lunch. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, VIP. I am a VIP. A private coconut grove and a scenic boat ride. Ooh. Let's see. How much is this? I like this idea. Bad fan, a catamaran tourist might not be bad. I'm looking at this. Hang on. I'm, I'm very single focused here uh, from the cruise ship. Thank you for choosing Blue Lagoon for Disney, Norwegian, Royal Caribbean. Please contact your shorts. Here. Uh, I have to book it through Royal. Although looking at the prices, it looks like it would be about $69 ish. Not bad. I will look at this, Amy. Amy, did you book this through Royal Caribbean or on your own? <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean, it looks kind of neat. I'm not going to deny that. The only issue with all these, of course, is that 7 to 2. Like, that means you, in order to get your money's worth out of it, you got to get off the... Like, same problem with the British Colonial Hilton. Uh, Big Dog Ryan, no, it's just me and my wife, so we don't have to worry about the kids' problem. Now, I think it's going to be the same. Now I'm thinking about it. Amy was a good suggestion. Thank you. But I don't think it's going to be a good idea. Uh, MJ, you have unlimited data. Do I still need a Voom package to use my phone? Yes, you do. The reason why? Because you're roaming when you're on board the ship, and your unlimited data package does not work. So you'd run up a huge bill. So don't do that. Instead, what you need to do is di put your plane in airplane mode, connect to Royal Caribbean's Voom, and then you can utilize the internet there. And it's actually not that expensive, really, especially if you pre-purchase it before your cruise. So, yeah, so I was thinking for NASA, I was going to do something that's going to be more like just on your own, like get off the ship, maybe have breakfast. Can anyone recommend a good place for breakfast in NASA? How about that? Let's start there. An idea where Hermine shows two cruises, duplicate itinerary and ports, but one price is more. Time. It's like real estate. Instead of location, it's time. When it is. Uh, go to Pirate Republic for a couple beers, back to ship. That's kind of what I was looking at, Jay. I was kind of thinking, like, get off the ship, eat breakfast somewhere, go some, go to a bar, Pirate Republic, wherever, right? Go to the Bahama Mar Resort. Now, Bob, is there a is there a cost to the Bahama Mar Resort? <laughs> Razor, yes, the Windjammer. Not what I was looking for. Yes, I understand the Windjammer is a good idea, too, but I was looking for somewhere on, on shore. I want some different food. Craig, I have a balcony cabin booked for the first time on Independence. You're going to love it. I'm going to tell you. You're going to become a, a balcony snob overnight, Craig. Your first time in there, you're going to be like, wow, why? what have I been doing up till now? Um, Brandon was not impressed with the Pirate Republic. Never mind. I, I trust Brandon empirically. He tells everything good. Oh, commercial. Sorry. Brandon tells all. He knows everything. Sometimes he only tells Michael Poole what all the information is. <laughs> Block him. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I got to talk to Brandon about this at the Orlando meetup. Because if he says he's not impressed. But that was kind of my... Generally speaking, I think what we're probably going to end up doing is getting off the ship, having breakfast somewhere, drinking, kind of wandering, and then coming back on board, you know. Um, 
Breakfast at the Dunkin' Donuts. Ooh, Jay, what an exotic idea. Actually, they have Starbucks. I'm a little higher class than Dunkin' Donuts. Thank you. Although I did go to Dunkin' Donuts the last time I was in Nassau. Because... <laughs> Because when we were at the British Colonial Hilton, Dunkin' Donuts is across the street, and so is the SIM card place. So I got the SIM card and then brought coffee back to the uh, back to the pool. Because, you know, I sit there, I want coffee. They do have a great Starbucks there. I've been there many times, Michael, to the Starbucks in Nassau. You're you're absolutely right. Of course, I've got a Starbucks on board in Harmony of the Seas, so there's that, but yeah. I just was hoping for something a little more, like, interesting to do on on shore. And unfortunately, nothing's really jumped out or just cost prohibitive to do that. Back in the day, go there for Wi-Fi, that's right. Although now I just have the SIM card from last time, Michael, so I'll just, you know, re-up that for another gig and data and I'm good to go. Um, what's my favorite thing non-food about Navigator of the Seas? Non-food? Uh, I love the virtual balconies they added on board. Definitely a cool thing. I love the R bar. R bar. Oh, that's food, isn't that true? Darn it. Um, I think the size of the ship in general is a really good factor. Like it's 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 large, but not super large. Um, Michael, he said. Michael says the pub. Remember, not food. That's drink is food. I think so. We're not, not going to count that one in there. Um. Panky, they're made in Finland. What's made in Finland? I would love to know. The Peekaboo Bridge is a neat feature. Yes, Brandon, you're absolutely right. If you go to the front of the ship on Voyager-class ships and you walk to the front, you can actually look into the bridge. There's a little viewing window. It's called the Peekaboo Bridge. You can check it on out there. Razor are going to have breakfast at the Hilton. I, well, I could try. I, yes, you're right. I absolutely could. I don't know how good it is over there. Maybe it's good breakfast. I don't know. But um, virtual balcony was a nice touch. I agree. Um, I just like this. I love the shows on board. I think the shows are really good. I like them a lot. Um, McDonald's pancakes. His fuzziness. How does a back to back work in San Juan with the late embarkation? So if you're doing a back, do you mean for the second cruise between cruise one and cruise two? Because the back to back and Michael Poole, correct me if I'm wrong, but the back to back is basically the same across all ships. What happens is when once you um, on the end of day cruise one into day two. Oh, uh, hang on a second. Go to the Daiquiri Shack on Cable Beach in Nassau. The what now? Daiquiri Shack, Nassau, Cable Beach. I'm looking it up. The Daiquiri Shack. This sounds like that song, like the Love Shack, the Daiquiri Shack. This, let's see the photos here. Um... photos from like 30 years ago. Time to get a new camera, people. This looks like quite the destination. <laughs> it literally is a shack. I don't know why I'm surprised it looks like a shack. Because it is a shack. Okay. I thought shack was like a colloquialism for restaurant. Just opened. All right. Well, check it out. Thank you. It's a good recommendation. <laughs> John, they should hire me to take photos. Some of the... Look at this photo. Hang on. Where's that? Where's it? Where's that one? This photo is from this photo looks like a photo from like I'll be honest this looks like from the 90s you know if you look at your old college photos this is what it looks like it's grainy it's small and there's no light in here anyway I digress quite a bit uh, the question about the uh, back to back cruises in general when cruise one ends you'll be directed as a back to back cruise you should get a letter in your stateroom like a couple day or two before the end of the cruise saying hey go to this location where you and other consecutive cruisers will meet you'll go there you will uh, be run through customs you'll be escorted and then allowed to go back on board the ship does that answer your question because even though in San Juan I know the the um, sailway is like 8 p.m. right the thing is that the ship still docks there early in the morning and the ship still starts taking people on early in the morning as well they just have a longer time before they have to leave so Michael thank you for the daiquiri shack thing I'll have to try it out I forgot to read the actual reviews. I was just looking at photos. But everything looks pretty good. Amazing daiquiris. Fun place. So refreshing. Fresh fruit daiquiri. All right. Looks good. Why not? Cable Beach is beautiful. I've never been to Cable Beach. I don't think I've been to Cable Beach. I don't. 
I don't think I've been to Cable Beach, but I will check it out. Thank you, Michael. I reserve the right, though, to forget completely about this <laughs> in, like, a month from now. Where should I go to Nassau? Yeah, well, John, this is, uh, they're playing uh, pop for, I love pop for piano covers of pop hits. And if you have another room for the second leg of the trip, they move your stuff. I've heard that, although some people said they have, some people said they haven't. Um, Michael, I don't think when you had your back-to-back that -back, you had the same room, right? And I don't think they moved it for you, or am I making that up? When you were on, what was it, Empress for like three cruises in a row. Did they move your stuff for you? I don't, I don't remember. Yeah, you changed. So did they move your stuff for you? And I got Love Shack stuck in my head. They did not, see? They don't, they move for everybody, they don't move everybody, especially Michael, there you go. CJ, they did it for you on Oasis. Nice, CJ, aren't you going on like Oasis, or you're going on a cruise like next week? Am I making that up? Yeah, I would assume you wouldn't. I honestly, even if you told me that, I would still assume I'm bringing my own stuff. Nice, yeah, CG. I saw, CG's by the way is doing a live blog on our message boards at royalcaribbeanblog.com, so you can check that out there. Saturday, nice. His fuzzies were in the same cabin. Our vacation isn't until 3 p.m. Don't know if we had to be allowed to ride back on. Oh, yes, you will be. Um, I know that his fuzziness, I know that, like, that it kind of, I thought the same thing, but it's the same boarding procedure-wise and time-wise. It's the same thing. You just, you don't leave until later on. That's the only difference, really. Did I ever do a podcast or blog post about cruising out of Miami? No, I don't think we've done a specific episode about it. Now that I have cruised out of Miami, maybe we should do, although... I guess my only hesitation would be I would want to wait for the new terminal to open up so I don't have to re-record the same episode, although am I above recycling episode ideas? Probably not. We should do that, though. Uh, maybe Michael, maybe that's an idea. Out of Beasley, you've taken a lot of cruises out of Miami. I've taken one, so we are venerable experts. Uh, Slim Jim, do I scope the meetups? Yes, we do a little bit of it. Like I'll usually do a scope like, hey, here we are. But I don't do the whole time, because that'd be weird, right? Um... I could do before and after. It's a fair point. I think it's worth it. Ooh. All the time she spent helping Sorry, ad. There we go. Um, it might not be a bad idea. I will add it to the list. Miami, cruising out of Miami. I mean, there's a lot of, we should probably do all the major cruise ports. Miami is definitely a big one. I think we've done Fort Lauderdale. I know we've done Port Canaveral. But, yeah, we'll talk about that. That's a good idea. Uh, what else? What else? Oh, we need, you know, we need a question of the day. Question of the day. Let's see here. We've been talking about, all right, here's your, um, oh, am I still in the tiny window? <sighs> Sorry. Thanks, Brandon. See, this is why I keep you around, Brandon. I thought I was still on the other one. Anyway, uh, question of the day. Jay, Escape Room on Anthem I thought was great, totally different than Harmony and Free. Yes, I would agree with your conclusions as well. Question of the day. Um, NASA or Key West? Which port? If you had to pick one that you have to go to on a cruise, which one would you want to go to? Type it in chat right now. NASA or Key West? Four-hour bike ride? Cable Beach. Brandon says NASA. NASA. Really? Wow. John says NASA. Andrew Key West. Bob Key West. Borg Key West. Michael NASA. Michael, say it ain't so. Key West for Met fan, Chris and NASA. Key West for Jay. Jay Palmer, Key West. I thought this would be like everybody's in Key West, quite honestly. CG Key West, Wilson Key West, BC. All right, now it's going Key West. Jovi says NASA. Interesting. I'm surprised there's that many people who don't think that much of Key West. Key West for PSA Keyed. Go Van True says Key West as well. Key West for the Key Lime Pies. There you go. You can drive to Key West. You know how long of a drive it is from here, Brandon? It's like, what, nine hours? <laughs> it's a heck of a drive. I've done it before, but it stinks. Nassau for SRT, DLT for Nassau. Not bad, not bad. Um, takes longer on a ship. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. I can't argue that. But you know what, Brandon? When you're on the ship, you don't have to sit there in a car and the kid's asking you, are we there yet? Which now my oldest is at that stage where like every hour we get out, every half an hour I get asked, are we close yet? Are we there yet? More fun on a ship than in a car. Yes, absolutely. JD, I love Key West, but on a cruise, you're only there a few hours. It makes me sad to, mad to leave. That's true of a lot of ports, though. 
I just think Key West is pretty, and I, like I said, I'm just, I'm glad I asked this question. It was more of a, you know, more of a split down the middle, maybe 60-40, but it seems a lot of people uh, have a lot of love for Nassau. Meffin, I've never been to Key West, but I've been to Nassau a few times. John, are the Voyager class ships like baby Freedom class ships? Yes, exactly. They're virtually indistinguishable, except that the, the Voyager class ones are a little bit smaller. Michael, you're burned out on Key West. Insert Michael Poole head shake gif here. Which I will now attempt to find very quickly, but I probably won't find it that quickly because it never... Where is it? No, that's Michael dancing. Where is the head shake? Oh, there it is. Wow, I found that a lot quicker than I thought I would. See? When you think of Key West, this is what Michael says. Nope. 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 <laughs> Mike Fro. <laughs> Uh, that's one of my favorite. I think that's my favorite Michael Poole animated GIF of all of them. That's my favorite. <laughs> if you're ever bored, you want a good laugh, go look at Michael's old Periscopes when he was doing that bike tour. They're just they're they're gold. Uh, Jay Pop was in a cruise radio podcast. Today. I guess who was on me? Well, actually, I, I was assuming that they haven't come up with a new episode. But yes, I was just on with Doug uh, talking about Real Caribbean, which was awesome. Gerald, welcome. You sneak in here. I gotta put a bell on you or something. But welcome, Gerald. Glad to have you in here. Um, Amy, excited for itinerary from no New Orleans to Key West. I think a lot of people are excited about the New Orleans return because there have been a lot of folks who've been wondering about that. And I hope it does well. I hope Royal Caribbean is able to maintain a presence in New Orleans for a long time because it is a really cool port to sail out of. It's convenient for a lot of people, uh, more so than Florida, because if you live in a lot of these states, like Michael, if you still lived in Atlanta, uh, it's a lot easier to get to, or just as easy to get to, I should say. Um, and it's it's a great port to sail, a great city to sail out of, right? A little pre-cruise fun. Different flavor, absolutely. Michael, I, what, you walked to the port in New Orleans from my Hyatt Hotel. I walked past the port in New Orleans like every day when I was there last year because the port is literally next door to the convention center. And there was a carnival ship there one day, and I walked by and I was like, I'm so conflicted. <laughs> <laughs> on the one hand, I really want to go on a cruise. On the other hand, it's not going to be on Royal Caribbean. Andrew, you're here in Boston tapping your foot, waiting for cruises of the Caribbean from here. I will be waiting a while. There are some, actually, in the fall, but yes, you'll be waiting a while. Gene Fulton, we drive down to Orlando June 3rd for a week at Universal. Meet up later. Uh, we're doing the meetup on June 3rd. Gene, Saturday, 11 a.m. You got to be there. Change your plans. Come down the second. Fly down in the morning of. Make it work. Method, do I have any favorite cruise directors? I think they're all really good. Uh, Jimmy Rhodes is my favorite, but uh, they're I like the, I like them quite a bit. Brandon says, "Come early, Keen." I think he means Gene, but yeah, come early. Come on, make it happen. It's on the books. You got time to change your plans. Michael, doing your first Empress pa first day pass on Empress June seventh. Nice, Sugaboo. Welcome, Brandy. Think I should be a cruise director? I could be a cruise director for about two hours a day, and then I'd completely run out of energy. I'd burn through it. You teach? Yes, you do teach. But Friday night you don't teach. Take a flight on Friday night. Take like the you know you'll get in at like eleven o'clock. Okay. You'll be you'll be able to sleep in a little bit. Join us at eleven o'clock. This is win win. Um. Methan, Jimmy's on Oasis next week. I forgot he changed ships. He's no longer on Quantum. That's so cool. So that means Michael gets to see Jimmy Rhodes. That's not fair. Not fair. Uh, Gene, it's an eight-hour drive with three kids. They're older. They're not like my kids. You can do it. You can do it. In fact, what you should actually, here's what you do, Gene. Drive halfway. Stop in like Valdosta or uh, one of the other cities in South Georgia there. Break it up a little bit so it's a little bit of a drive, but that way you can make that 11 o'clock meet in the morning. Try to give you up. Work with me here. I got, I got something. Michael, yeah, first time at Jimmy's a great guy. He's got a good uh, good rapport on Oasis of the Seas. I saw him on Quantum of the Seas, 
and he's just a he's got a he's got a great personality for cruise director. You know what I mean? He's uh he's funny, he's uh, energetic, but he's he doesn't cross that line of being like overbearing. Like okay, we get it, we get it, we get it. You know what I mean? He's real. You had a great cruise director on Allure. Nice. Alan said no. Gene, you're the wife. Come on, we all know where the power lies, right? Uh, what is an insider? I'm so glad you asked, Brandon. It's somebody who supports RollerCoreanBlog.com. And if you're an insider and you support RollerCoreanBlog.com, do me a favor and type insider right now so I can say thank you. And if you're not an insider, you can become one by going to RollerCoreanBlog.com slash support to become an insider. Thank you, John Bamber, for being an insider. You get some pretty cool rewards for being an insider, like access to the Rolling Blog uh, podcast a day early, special Facebook group. Thank you, Brian, for being an insider. Brandon, thank you for being an insider. Jill, thank you. Gerald, thank you for being an insider. You get the insiders get access to all my little ideas beforehand. I kind of shoot ideas off of them for uh, what, things that I'm working on, and there's a lot of cool benefits for being an insider. And I hope that you'll consider being one as well. Thank you, Met fan, for being an insider. Thank you, Carson. Thank you, Wilson, for being an insider. And again, RoyalCreamBlog.com slash support to become an insider. You can join for as little as $1 a month. I would love for you to donate much more than that, but if everybody watching this donated $1, I could quit my day job, I could hire Michael Poole to do my laundry, and I could do this all full-time. How cool would that be? Because then we get more awesome ideas at RoyalCreamBlog.com. CG, thank you for being an insider. Gerald, thank you again for being an insider. Um, thirty-four dollars. That works too. Like I said, it's I. Everyone's in different financial situations. I completely understand that. Um, but any any little bit helps. That's all I'm saying. So thank you very much, everybody, for your support. It really does mean a lot. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, guys, I gotta run. On that note, uh, West Coast been inside for five days now. Thank you, West Coast Cruiser. Appreciate it. Uh, who is Jimmy on Oasis? Carson, Jimmy, Jimmy Rhodes, the cruise director. Um, Gene, we already announced it for July 3rd. I can't move it, unfortunately. I'm sorry. We, if, To be fair, we discussed it yesterday on Periscope, and that's when I came up with the June 3rd date. I apologize. KLA, welcome. Joining, wow, Brandon and KLA in the same Periscope, in my Periscope. Wow. Did, uh, did... Is this 2016? Love it. Uh, June 3rd, we're doing a meetup, Gerald. A, uh, a uh, Royal Caribbean blog meetup in Orlando. June 3rd. We've been, it's been too long. We haven't done one in, like... When was the last time we did one? Was it the Oasis meetup, like, months ago? KLA meetup. Yes, come on down. June 3rd. June, not July. Yes, June 3rd. Third, June third. Um, it'd be a lot, I love the meetups. Uh, it's always a great opportunity to just hang out and see friends. Borg, it'll be Fort Wilderness. You know what? It's actually really easy to get from Fort Wilderness if you have a rental car or take a li take a lift. Borg. You know what? Lift. I will pay for your lift to come over here. If you, uh, you have to pay for your way to get back, I'm only bringing you to the meeting. I'm not paying to send you back home. I'm just saying. But I'll split it with you if you want to come on down. It's very easy. It'll be like fifteen dollars max. <laughs> Round two at 4 p.m. We're going to a bar. There's a good chance Gene Michael will still be there at 4 o'clock. <laughs> Jay, yeah, you got to get down from New York. It's a little bit different. Fort Wilderness versus, you know, Long Island. But, just saying. Um, Gerald, I will pay for your lift from Nova Scotia. Yes, tell, tell Jessica that you're taking a lift from Nova Scotia, and I will get you down there. Uh, John, how far am I from Disney Springs? 20 minutes? 30 minutes? I'm every, everywhere in Orlando is 30 minutes from anywhere. Brandon, I will pay Lyft not to pick you up. That's, that's so mean. I apologize. That's uncalled for. KLA told me to write that. I just got her text message from her telling me to make fun of you, so I'm just reading what they tell me. But you know what? That's really mean, KLA. Don't tell me to do that. I've got the proof right here. I just don't want to show anybody. Um, stop by Halifax and pick you up. Um, <laughs> Gerald, uh, um, Brandon is a beer snob, Gerald? I thought Brandon 
loves all beers. In fact, when we were on the group cruise on Navigator of the Seas, he literally, I think, tried every single beer on board the ship. Even the weird uh, gluten-free beers, just to say that he's had them all. Yeah, see, that's not, that's not the marking of a beer sign. Maybe he didn't like them all, but he tried them all, so give him credit where credit is due. Got his money's worth out of that drink package. Still, my favorite moment on the group cruise was we had the um, the head of food and beverage for Navigator on board for one of the the podcast recording. And on the way, on the dude's way out, he, he stops, puts his hand on Brandon's shoulder and says, enjoy that drink package. And from then on there, Brandon is the is the new Gerald. He is the the <laughs> he is Mr. Drink Package. <laughs> um Gene, Alan Sheeting booked a cruise on MSC. What? What? Well, you know what they say, Gene. Set them free and what is it? If you love someone, truly set them free and see if they come back or something like that. Jay, gotta go text Dan in China. If it, if I didn't know your son, that might have sounded like a weird statement, but I know exactly what you're talking about. Uh, Gerald, me and Brandon actively look for people to hang with. Actively look for ha people to hang with at the bar, was the rest of that sentence. Uh, it's for research, Alan says. Sure. Who are you trying to prove? Who are you trying to convince, Alan? Me or you? <laughs> See, Kaylee, this is what you miss out on here. Making fun of Brandon. See how, how things go? Um. <laughs> well, I see my work here is done. I've stirred the pot and everyone's angry at each other. So I think we're going to... Uh, Brandon gets picked on now instead of me. Yes, exactly. Uh, Brandon has been helped. Brandon is very helpful, actually. You know what? He's he, he is a man of his word. And KLA just told me to make fun of him. That's all, but... It's mean. I would never do that. All right, guys. I am going. Now that I stirred the pot and made everybody mad at each other, I'll let the Facebook messages go, and you're going to all hammer it out on your own. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks for hanging out with us here on Periscope. Tomorrow, which is Tuesday, we will be on Facebook talking real quick with all of you. Facebook Tuesdays. Uh, John, if a cruise is booked and transferred to MEI, does MEI still get credit? Yes, as long as you transfer it to them, absolutely. Anyway, tomorrow, I'll speak to many of you tomorrow on Facebook. If not, we'll talk to you on Wednesday here. I got to go record listener emails, questions for tomorrow's podcast episode or this week's podcast episode, however you want to look at it. So, guys, have a great rest of your evening. Enjoy. Do something fun. And we'll talk again very soon right here on Periscope. Bye, everybody.